What is going on guys? Polar here and uh, this is a really, it's gonna be a short video, quick video, um, but I was on Madden last night and I was trying to make some coins and I found a tip that worked out pretty well. Um, so you'll see it here, it's basically the 86 to 87 set, um, so you get two 86s, put them together and you get an 88 out of it. Um, and you can see what I'm doing here. Um, I just got that Ted Hendricks. Uh, but here, I'm going to go in and show you guys um, what filters I was using to pull the cheapest. And you can see one sold there, two sold there for 39k. Um, so basically, the point is, if you can do the set for under 40, you're in good shape. Um, at least at the time when I was doing this, as always, with any of these tips like that, you know, buyer beware. Uh, but if you go in, I go in and I find Ted Hendricks and I see how much he's going for and he's going for 44, right? So I sell him for 43, comes out for 39, you know? Um, and it was kind of a spur of the moment thing. And like I said, you know, all of these tips that you get from like YouTube, you always got to go check the market yourself and make sure for yourself. Um, but I'm going to go in here and I'm going to show you the... Uh, the filters I was using um, at the time of recording this was um, profitable with these filters I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a way you know later on down the line to make it profitable without them but basically the idea is if you can get the cards for under 19k you're doing a good job um, and you see me here I go all defense and all offense and just swap back and forth um, and you'll see that I kind of was a little impatient and I bought one for 19. Um, that's as high as I was going that night. Um, anything below 19 was an instant snipe, instant buy, um, cause you were guaranteed profit on that. Uh, but 19 is where you got, you know, two 19s is 38 K. Um, so you, I'd make a thousand coins off of it. Uh, but essentially you were looking for the lowest Super Bowl past cards. Um, so, you know, Jalen Mills, uh, Robert Alford, Corey Clement, Jermaine Curse, And you can see I just picked that one up there for 17-4, right? So those two guys there um, do the job. And here's another one for 17-7. Um, and someone got this one ahead of me, but that is fine. Um, and you can see me just flipping back and forth, all offense, all defense, because that was how you narrowed it down enough to find the newest cards. Um, and I'm rambling a little bit just because this is post-commentary, so I'm not quite sure. Yeah, so another 17,450 for Jermaine Curse. Um, so that was the snipe there. And then you go out and you put them into the 88 set, uh, which I'm going to do in just a second. Um, and you know depending on your polls you can get cards worth as much as 55 60k you know depending on how the uh the market's working with um power-ups and stuff like that but the lower boundary that's what you have to check is you have to check the low boundary of 88 cards uh some of those legend pieces can get you know down to, to 39k um you have to be paying attention to that really quick um and you see i'll put the alfred and the curse in and then on the way out, we're going to get... Who did I pull out of this one? I forget. Is this Bobby Wagner? Yeah, Bobby Wagner. So that's a great one to pull. The 88 Core Elites, when you pull those, are generally some of the best profit. Because they're um, gateways to some of the best power-up cards in the game. So they're all useful. right? So 88 Bobby Wagner is gateway to the best middle linebacker. Um, you know, 88 Tom Brady. Uh, Tom Brady will always have value. Right? So when you go in and do it, you, you can get really lucky, but as long as you're under that baseline, right, you're, you're in good shape. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tip. Uh, it wasn't, you know, it, this, this kind of off the cuff, kind of a quick thing, uh, you know, only a five minute video, which is a little short for, for what I usually do. But I wanted to get you guys um, this out so you could see it. Um, just a, a way to make coins because we're all we're all struggling to make coins all the time you know there's there's never a time in which you don't want to make coins um, so you know try this tip um, find your own filters see what works 
It's not a uh, not an exact science, but uh, if this works for you guys and you and uh, you you make it work for yourself, feel free to uh, like the video and then you know comment your filters if you want to do that. Uh, and thank you guys for watching, and uh, I hope you have a good night. Bye.